uh, but uh, I am caught by uh, uh, Ted. Hello, Ted. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, I, I do admire your attempt to give a naturalistic account of the dimension of uh, uh, human cognition that we call morals and ethics and politics and so forth. Uh, but I, too, want to resist the skeptical um, pit into which you fall. And the, there is an alternative here, and I'll appeal directly to the analogy with science, the negative analogy that you drew. If you think of human history and all of the countries and all of the political and economic and religious organizations, the diverse ones that have governed uh, um, uh, sundry aspects of humanity over 2,000, 4,000, 10,000 years. You're looking at a series of experiments about how best to organize human affairs. Economic organization, um, uh, civil organization, moral organization. And over that period, we've had uh, a fair amount of wisdom emerge about how things are best organized. Uh, if one wants to take uh, an objectivist view about the ground of morality, uh, better to look at human history and what it teaches us over long periods of time than to made up metaphysical things. Now, I know people do that, of course, but I don't think you should encourage them by saying it's inevitable. Uh, we can escape it, and to some degree we have. 